Evolution has been going on long enough now to give us a range of life so varied that we can't even comprehend what nature is capable of. Every so often we are reminded of these when we see something so perfect it simultaneously baffles us and helps us to understand how nature works. In today's top best for everything video, we have the list of top 10 most in your face perfect examples of natural selection giving us some absolute triumphs over nature. Before we start this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. Now here are the top 10 animals with the best camouflage. Number 10. Barren Caterpillar The barren caterpillar is native to India and Southeast Asia. They are about 4 millimeters long with small spikes when they hatch, but as they reach their 4th and 5th stage of growth, known as instars, they can grow to about 45 millimeters, with much more elongated spikes. These spikes, along with the caterpillar's color, allow it to blend in with leaves to avoid predators until it is ready to mature. Number 9. Merlet Scorpionfish Merlet Scorpionfish have a variety of other names, many of which include the word lacy. This is because they have a considerable amount of tentacles and skin flaps, as well as an unusual overall shape, which gives them their so-called lacy look. They use all these factors to look like plant life, blending in with the coral reefs. They will stay still for hours until they get an opportunity to jump out and inhale their prey with their enormous mouths. Number 8. The Pygmy Seahorse at a whopping 27 millimeters, the pygmy seahorse is the goliath of the recently mentioned hippocampus denise. Its minuscule size and elaborate camouflage help explain why the first one was only discovered in 1969 and that only six more have been found since, all after the year 2000. They can be found in waters 10 to 40 meters deep, mainly off the coast of Australia, Indonesia, Japan, New Caledonia, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea. And coming in at number 7, we have the tawny frogmouth. The tawny frogmouth is a type of owl native to Australia. Although they are unsurprisingly nocturnal, they have developed a sophisticated method of daytime camouflage. They sit still, close their eyes, stretch out their neck, and compact their feathers, making them like the broken branch of a tree. This is used as a defense mechanism, not for hunting, like some of the other entries do. Ironically, the biggest threat to tawny frogmouth is their hunting method. They mainly eat insects, and since they are nocturnal, insects are most visible in lit up areas. Unfortunately, the most lit up area is often directly in front of a moving car, where many of these birds will probably wish they were much easier for us to spot. Number 6. The Leafy Sea Dragon Leafy sea dragons are native to the oceans just south of Australia. Measuring up to 35 centimeters, or 13.8 inches, they have long slender bodies decorated with elaborate leaf-like appendages to help them blend in with the plant life in the water. They're closely related to seahorses and should not be confused with their much less spectacular cousins, the aptly named weedy sea dragons. Number 5. The Underwing Moth There are over 200 species of underwing moths, mostly found in eastern North America. They are so called because their second set of wings, those only visible when flying, are bright patterns of orange, yellow, red, and white, while the first set of wings are usually a mix of gray or brown patterns. Experiments have shown that the moths actually choose tree or bark similar to their own color to better protect themselves. Number 4. The Reef Stonefish the reef stonefish are found in the rocky coral of Australian coasts. They can measure up to 50 centimeters or one and a half feet. Needless to say, being from Australia, the fish is one of the most venomous in the world. It can inject venom through any of its 13 spouts. Although nobody has died as a result of their venom since Europeans arrived in Australia, their sting is still extremely painful and dangerous. This makes their camouflage a lot more terrifying. And if you think you can stay safe by keeping it out of the water, think again. These fish can survive up to 24 hours on dry land. Number three, the dead leaf butterfly. Probably one of the most perfect examples of camouflage in the animal kingdom is the dead leaf butterfly. The dead leaf butterfly is found mainly in tropical Asia, especially in India and Japan. As if the camouflage wasn't elaborate enough as is, the dead leaf butterfly has two generations per year. Its appearance, depending on whether that generation is alive for the dry season or the wet season. Their wings can even have patterns to make it look like the leaf is at different stages of composition, including actually having holes. The walking leaf insect is another example of an insect that looks extremely like a leaf. Number 2. The Leaf-Tailed Gecko Native to the island of Madagascar and the smaller islands surrounding it, there are 8 leaf-tailed geckos known to us thus far. Like the previous entry, they can look dried up or rotten, but they are also famed for their ability to blend into bark on trees. There really is no picture that can perfectly capture how very yet perfect their camouflage can be. Maybe there is and we just have no idea, but it's worth taking a look on Google with images to see how impressive they really are. If you're still watching the video up to this point, I do want to remind you to go ahead and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out. And now, coming in at number one, the octopus. 
Surprised? Well, no shame in admitting this caught us off guard as well. As impressive as the previous entries are, nothing compared to what we've seen comes up to the true champion of camouflage. The camouflage abilities of the Mimic Octopus are truly unheard of. The ability of this octopus to copy the colors, textures, patterns, and shapes of its surroundings is like nothing we've ever seen before in nature. It is also noteworthy for being able to impersonate a wide variety of other marine animals, the true king of camouflage. Now that's all we have for you today. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a nice rest of your day.